viewers welcome to my channel this is naked beauty empire if this is your work first time of coming to this channel welcome in this video i'm going to teach how to tuck in or how to hide hair in color braids in this video you can see me holding a black hair very long black hair and i'm working with a black a red braid the attachment is red as you can see here and the closure i'm using is a braided wig is black so watch and learn how i'm going to braid with it and the black color will not show in the braid is a not less braid is a detailed tutorial so if you watch you will learn at the same time how to do your not less braid and how to hide the hair color as you braid so walk through and please be patient to walk to the end because in the video you also learn how to add attachment or hair extension in your braid if you want it to be longer than the attachment you cut because this braid is really long i joined the attachment but you will notice that the attachment is joined to get the length so if you watch to the end you will learn how to join attachment to make your braid longer than you planned or your attachment is okay you can see the hair so what i'm doing here is trying to tuck in the the closure or the hair because it is black for it not to show so you have to squeeze and hide it as you braid this is the process you will use even if the color of your attachment is yellow pink this is how you achieve making the hair not to show except you want it to show if you do not want the hair color to show this is all you need to do to hide it you have to squeeze and tuck it in and present the real color of the attachment you want to see in your braid okay you watch to the end and see the finishing look and how i was able to achieve the full look of this braid is a wig and for you to order for this wig it's on pre-order if you need it it's a not less braid you can see it's not bold it's not jumbo size you will have to order for the color you want the length you want okay okay here after braiding now i want to complete the remaining ones you can see the back is long the braid is long and looking at the front here you will see that the attachment the length i cut it is not very long to give me the length i want now you see the length here and for me to get it very long watch me join the attachment okay this is how you join your attachment for you to get a longer braid you will have to take little attachment at a time you can see how i arrange them on the table here okay yes based on the size of the braid you're doing you will take smaller attach something smaller than what you're braiding and just like you do your knot less braid you have to fix it in and tuck it in so that the knots will not show you have to braid it carefully and you keep joining till you get your desired length you have to take little attach at a time to join the more you braid you join till you get exactly the length you want to achieve <laughs>
here I'm trying to be on the same spot to finish this braid. It's a long braid. So what I did here is I had to drag the braid, this part that I've braided back, use pin and pin it down on the dummy. Remember, it's weak that I'm making, okay? I pinned it on the dummy to reduce the length so that I can stand here to do the finishing of this particular braid. It's long, it's taking time to finish. And for me to do the tips, I had to twist it. You will also see me doing the tips. I had to twist it to have that pencil tips, okay? You will also see the picture. You will see the pin here, the way I pinned it at the end because it's long. You can't see the dummy now, okay? This is me trying to twist the tips to have, make it have that sharp look at the tips. Look at it. I twisted the tips, okay? And this is the hack see the pin the thumb tag is the thumb tag i used to reduce the braid you can see so it to be shorter for me to complete the tips 